So something that's uh, slightly less used, but it's equally as important and very useful is auditing the current page that you're on. So by auditing, what we mean is uh, Chrome Developer Tools is going to go ahead and analyze this page and it's going to give you suggestions of how you can improve the uh, performance of this page. So what we can do is head over to the audit tab just here and we can choose the audits that we want to run. So one is network utilization and the other is web page performance. So we'll go ahead and uh, choose both of them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose to reload the page and audit on load. So it's going to refresh the entire page. It's going to audit everything. So any external files that we're pulling through, it's going to audit JavaScript, CSS, and uh, things like caching as well. So if we hit run, that, go ahead, that goes ahead and refreshes the page and it gives us uh, any suggestions just here. So for example, network utilization. So it's things like uh, combi combining external JavaScript. We've got four JavaScript files on this page, which could um, be combined into one to reduce the amount of HTTP requests we make to this page. We also have things like leverage browser caching, uh, proxy caching and minimizing the cookie size. Um, but probably uh, the things that we can just immediately improve on are things that come under the web page performance section. So for example, we could optimize the order of the styles and the script. So if you read through this, it does give you some good advice. We can remove unused CSS rules. So this tells us that 95% of CSS uh, from the style sheet that we're loading in is not being used on the current page. And also use normal CSS property names instead of vendor prefixed ones. So there are various suggestions here that you can either choose to uh, follow or ignore, but it's uh, without a doubt an extremely useful part of just making sure that your page is running uh, as fast as possible by using these audits.